Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to be learning how to crochet the black cherry beanie, which I have my sample one here in front of you. Uh, this is an easy crochet beanie. It's worked from the bottom up and it features some amazing texture in these bobble stitches here. Now the pattern is the fifth pattern in the midwinter crochet along. If you're joining me for that, welcome. Uh, if this is your first time hearing about it, check the links down in the description of this video. Uh, you'll find links to the free written pattern as well as the more information on this crochet along. For the pattern today, I'm going to be using a bulky white yarn called Scarfy Yarn by Lion Brand. Uh, I've worked my sample up in a cranberry and black color uh, but because it's so dark on the camera I'm going to be using this cream and taupe color in the video today. You're also going to need a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me. While you're here I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are many other crochet beanie patterns here on this channel that I'm sure you will love as well. Our pattern today is worked in rounds and as I mentioned before we're starting down at the brim. The beanie is sized to fit an adult head so you're looking at 20 to 22 inches circumference. If you would like to change the size of your beanie today you're going to need a stitch multiple for your foundation chain of four. Today for the adult size we're going to begin by chaining 60. There's 20, 40, 50, 60. Once you have chained 60, being careful not to twist your chain. You're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. I prefer to work into the back bumps of my foundation chain. Uh, it's all personal preference so I'm going to join into that back bump. You're then ready to begin round one. For round one, you're going to chain one and then work a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining, and then half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into that first stitch. At the end of round one, once again, make sure your uh, work is not twisted and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. Now for the next five rounds, rounds two, three, four, five, and six, you're going to chain one and working into the third loop, half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. Do not turn your work during these rounds. We're going to keep working in the same direction. To find your third loop, you're going, going to take a look at the back of your stitch. And we have our loops up here, our top loops that you'd normally work under. And then under that loop, under your back loop, you'll see another loop running alongside it. And this is your third loop. So you're going to be inserting your hook through that third loop only of each stitch all the way around. So yarn over, find that third loop at the back of your work, insert your hook, 
and work a half double crochet. You're going to do that in each stitch all the way around, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch, chain one, and then work another round of half double crochet stitches in your third loop. You're going to work a total of five more rounds of your half double crochets in the third loop and then meet me back here at the end of round six. At the end of round uh, six you're going to join with a slip stitch into that first stitch, chain one, and turn your work. For round seven, we're going to start working some of our bobble stitch texture. You'll begin by working a single crochet stitch into each of the next three stitches. Followed by a bobble stitch in your next stitch. To work your bobble stitch, yarn over, insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to want to do that in the same stitch for a total of five times, so four more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, that's twice, three, four, and five. Once you have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, and then repeat single crochet into each of the next three stitches followed by a bobble stitch into the next. Repeat that all the way around. You should see your bobble stitches uh, are popping out on the right side of your fabric. When you come all the way around, you're going to end with a bobble stitch in that final stitch and join with a slip stitch to the first. At the end of your round seven, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, chain one, and then turn your work. You want the outside of your work now facing again. You're then going to, for round eight, work one half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way around. When you come back to your first stitch, you're going to join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round eight, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For rounds nine and 10, chain one, and into your third loop, work one half double crochet in each stitch around. So you're going to work two more rounds of these half double crochet stitches in the third loop, and then meet me back here at the end of round 10. At the end of round 10, you've joined with a slip stitch into your first stitch. You can chain one and turn your work. And you are now going to repeat rounds seven. So starting with that bobble stitch round through to 10, two more times. So uh, you're going to just repeat that bobble stitch round through to your our last half double crochet stitch in the third loop round um, twice more and then the body of your hat will be complete you're ready to begin the decrease rounds and uh, I'll show you how to do that in just a moment once you have worked your repeat twice more 
Um, so you've repeated round seven through to 10 two more times. This is what your pattern looks like from the brim up to the top, ending off with two rounds of half double crochet stitches in the third loop. We're now ready to begin the decrease rounds. There's no need to turn your work. We're going to continue working in the third loop. And for your first decrease round, you're going to chain one, Working in the third loop, half double crochet into each of the first four stitches. And then half double crochet two stitches together. To work your half double crochet two together, yarn over, insert your hook into the third loop of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Then into the third loop of your next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop. You'll have four loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all four. You're now going to repeat that all the way around. One half double crochet in the third loop of each of the next four stitches, followed by a half double crochet two together. Repeat that all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch in your first stitch. At the end of that first decrease round, you've joined with a slip stitch in your first stitch and chain one. For the second decrease round, working in the third loop, half double crochet into each of the next three stitches. and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next three stitches, all in the third loop, and half double crochet two stitches together. When you come to your first stitch, uh, join with the slip stitch, and chain one. For decrease round number three, chain one, half double crochet working in the third loop of each of the next two stitches, and then half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around, half double crochet in each of the next two stitches working in the third loop and half double crochet two stitches together over the next two stitches also in the third loop. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. For decrease round number four, working in the third loop again, chain one, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat that, half double crochet into the next stitch and half double crochet two stitches together. Repeat it all the way around to your first stitch and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. And for your final decrease round, decrease round number five, chain one, and you've probably guessed it by now, but we're going to half double crochet two stitches together in each stitch all the way around. So I'm just going to work the top of my beanie, it won't take me long, and then I'll show you how we're going to close off the top of our hat.
when you come around to that final stitch join with a slip stitch into the first stitch you're then going to fasten off leaving a little bit of a long tail you're then going to take your yarn needle turn your beanie so that it is inside out then using that long tail and your yarn needle you're going to weave the tail in and out through the top stitches around the opening there work all the way around when you come back to your first stitch you're going to simply pull the opening of the hat closed you'll then want to secure it so that it doesn't opening again depending on how you're attaching a pom-pom if you are you may want to use the rest of this long tail to help secure the pom-pom to your hat or you can simply weave it in as I'm going to do here trim it off weave in any ends that you may find turn your beanie right side out and you can see the top it looks great without a pom-pom or you can choose to add one if you would like but your black cherry beanie is then complete so thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial I hope that you enjoyed it if you did give it a thumbs up feel free to share it around and I look forward to seeing you again next time until then happy crocheting bye mm -hmm.